Good morning, everyone. I want to introduce you to a tremendously strong and resilient young lady by the name of Jessica. My name is Jessica Glotfeldsey, and I'm 17 years old. My life with my dad was amazing. He was the best thing that's ever happened to me when he adopted me. It wasn't even a question that he was my dad. Like, that was my dad. That's who I've always known as my dad. And um, I had the best childhood growing up. And he was always there for us, no matter what, no matter when, no matter where. He was there. And Christmas Eve, I had been at every service at Southwest Church as a volunteer. And at the last service at night, me, my sister Bailey, and my dad, we all attended. And then after we went to a Christmas Eve party with all of our family friends. We were there for a few hours and then we left and we went home and my sister and I finished wrapping our presents and my dad finished wrapping his presents. And then my sister and I went to bed and um, woke up the next morning and I walked into my dad's room to wake him up and he was face down on the bed. So I was shaking him and he wasn't moving and so then I turned him over and um, he was gone <laughs> um, so I yelled for my sister she was still sleeping and she ran into the room and she called 911 and I called my other sister and um, she my older oldest sister rushed to the house and um, the ambulance and fire truck came and um, they did everything they could, but it was just super unexpected. Like the night before, he was perfect. Like we had the best time and it was hard. And so I called Sherry and the Mudries and without question, they had us over and we've, moved all of our stuff into their house and that's where we've been living. You know there wasn't any life insurance or estate set up for Jessica so with the death of her dad Jessica who's a high school senior at La Quinta just 17 years of age also suffered the loss of a home and any type of real financial support. Fortunately Jessica and her sister Bailey were taken in by some heroic family friends. It's easy to get paralyzed by the overwhelming need in our world. Sometimes we feel like our little bit can't really help anyone, so we choose to do nothing. But at Shadow Rock, we have a different philosophy. We choose to do for one what we wish that we could do for everyone. We know we can't help everyone, but I think that we can help Jessica. Jessica wants to go to college in the fall, and I think that we can help get her there. What if we played out the Easter story for Jessica this morning? Easter morning started out as a dark and bleak and hopeless morning, but everything changed when Jesus demonstrated that he could bring life out of death. And I think God can use you and me to breathe life, hope, and even joy into Jessica's grief-filled heart. Jessica is here this morning. So please help me applaud and cheer on an amazing young lady as we welcome Jessica and her family to Shadow Rock Church this morning.